Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna make this uh, uh, weird mid speaker. Uh, we're gonna make this with stable diffusion and then assemble all this stuff in Unreal Engine. So yeah, let's begin. So first we need to reference image for stable diffusion and I like this one. Uh, then set all the values in Stable Diffusion, uh, go to Control.net and drop our image to Kenny preprocessor here. Type prompt and generate the first batch. Also, I need to mention that for this uh, organic stuff I use various lores from cvti.com. Uh, then, to increase the resolution and the amount of details on my image, I go to Image to Image tab and use Ultimate SD Upscale Extension script. It breaks image to tiles and works with not a lot of VRAM. Then, for the final part in Stable Diffusion, we need to get depth. For this, I drop our image into the control net and use the depth anything to preprocessor. So, in Blender, uh, delete the cube, get the plane, uh, create material and set our texture as a base color. Then subdivide plane with uh, 200 cuts. Add a displace modifier and use our depth texture from Control.net as a source for displacement. Shade smooth and apply modifier. Sculpting mod, I smooth sharp edges and create a mask for the parts that we're gonna animate with shape keys later. I create first key and object data properties and using the grab tool I move parts of the meshes forward after this I use Inflate tool and it works very good on this type of organic stuff because it looks kinda like it's bloating. Uh, then I create second key and repeat all the steps on the upper part of our speaker. Checking the shapes if everything works fine uh, and uh, creating box frame, then removing X parts and exporting all that we've done here in FBX format. And now I need to make high frequency normal map for our mesh and for this I'm gonna use a materialized tool. It's free and link to it you can find in the description of the video. I create a height map from diffuse map that we've generated and then from this height map I create a normal map and save it as a texture. Also here I create a smoothest map that is invert roughness and I will use it later in Unreal Engine. Uh, here in Krita I mask all the metal parts and save it as an extra metallic texture that will be useful for shading and for masking world position of set noise later in Unreal Engine. In Unreal Engine, I'm gonna use a third-person template, create a folder and import our mesh as a skeletal mesh with the import morph targets enabled. Checking our shape key, everything works fine. Now for the material part, uh, we need to import our textures into Unreal Engine, uh, drop them to the material, uh, plug normals with a flatten normal node and a parameter to adjustments uh, if needed. Uh, plug a metallic texture to, to metallic pin and plug inverted smoothness texture to the roughness. Preview our mesh and see how it works with different lighting. And in this case I think I needed to tweak uh, brightness and RGB curve on roughness texture. For extra shader effects I've decided to use a panning noise texture as a world position offset on uh, non-metallic parts. For this I made a simple panning noise 
uh, multiplied it with a metallic map, then multiplied it with a vertex normal in world space, and multiplied it with scalar parameter to adjust the intensity of the effect later. Now I created a blueprint, uh, added speaker skeletal mesh to this blueprint and added speaker box to it. Placed it on a level and played with the lights by adding a couple of point lights. Then I decided that I need my metal parts be more rough and uh, made a little tweaks to the material to increase roughness of metallic parts. Inside Blueprint, we need to dynamically set morph targets on our skeletal mesh, and for this, uh, we'll be using set morph target node. Type the morph target name, uh, connect them, and for debug execution, I will use uh, a non zero button and uh, timeline to drive this morph target. In the timeline, I create two float tracks with the curves that will drive our shape keys. Uh, connect the timeline curves to set morph target nodes. Add execution sequence with a play sound 2D and random hardcore kick sample. The last part before we start having fun, go to num0 button and then check consume input uh, and go to class defaults and set auto receive input to player 0. To create something like the additional step sequencer, we can execute uh, another timeline, but this time with the events track that will trigger our first timeline. I think this is all for today. Mm -hmm. I think this technique looks kind of cool and uh, can come with various use cases for this meets AI uh, stuff. This piece from a couple of months ago I made uh, using all these tricks and uh, general idea is the same, but here uh, there are not two but blend shapes and uh, slightly more blueprint logic but uh, yeah general idea is the same in general techniques so yeah that's all for today uh, you can follow me on instagram you can uh, join my telegram channel where i, where, where I post uh, stuff that inspires me and uh, yeah all the links are in description take care and goodbye Digital gods, digital gods, AI overlords, who you all obey and surrender. Extinction. This is the end.